Now to COVID-19 in the classroom and a recent spike in cases. Miami High School reporting nine cases of the coronavirus in just the last two weeks. Nearly 500 South Florida schools are now reporting cases and teachers say they're scared. Local 10 News reporter Laren Livingston is live with the details. Laren. Because as the community goes, so do the schools. Take a listen to this. One of the spokespersons here at Jackson Health says back in April, they saw close to 200 positive COVID-19 cases. Then that second round came through. They were closer to 500. Right now we're sitting at 107 down from yesterday's 120. But across the county, those cases continue to inch up. And officials here, they're concerned that we're going to be seeing another surge, especially going into the next 30 days. The number of new coronavirus cases passing 4,000 across the state. Broward reporting 650 new cases. Miami-Dade nearly 100 more than that. Broward County Schools reporting nearly 150 cases across 93 sites in just the past 30 days. Six of those infections at Tradewinds Elementary in the past month more than any other Broward County campus. We know that our teachers are scared. We know that the spiking of cases, it, we're seeing it district wide. The president of the Miami-Dade Teachers Union reacting to rising cases across her district, nearly 280 cases and counting. Today, the union received a donation of half a million masks for teachers. This could not come at a more appropriate time. Miami Senior High leading the case count with nine confirmed cases. The union president says that does not account for the hundreds of students and teachers who are now in quarantine. It is out of control. That is the, the best way that I can describe it. Wear your damn mask and wash your damn hands. If you don't understand that, what do you understand? A blunt Congresswoman Frederica Wilson unveiling a second symbolic cemetery placed in North Miami's Griffin Park, a place for South Florida to honor their loved ones lost to COVID-19. And health officials will echo that sentiment. They say personal responsibility right now is key. Going into the Halloween season, going into Thanksgiving and the holiday season, they say stay away from folks if you can. Keep your distance, wash your hands, wear your masks because this virus is still very real. We also checked with the folks up at Broward Health. They say right now they have 34 positive inpatient or excuse me, in-house COVID-19 patients. They say they can surge up if they need to do so. And that's something that, of course, all of these health systems are hoping they won't have to do is implement those surge plans. Of course, we'll keep you posted for now. We're live here at Jackson, Larry Livingston.